Forensic science is a growing field nowadays. Bright minds keep on inventing, giving technology new face every time. There are several new techniques to increase the efficiency in terms of precision and time. So today we are going to discuss about the advanced techniques in forensic science. Hello guys, this is Tushar Rajara Mahire. Welcome back to Tushar's online forensics. So let's get started our online forensic class. Number four, UHPLC MSMS, that is Ultra High Performance Liquid Chromatography Tandem Mass Spectrometry. This is a type of liquid chromatography which is used to detect and measure the illicit drugs like amphetamines, benzodiazepines, hallucinogens, pharmaceutical drugs, and so on. This is tandem mass spectrometry. What is tandem mass spectrometry? That is two mass spectrometers are attached to each other to improve the accuracy and resolution of an instrument. Number three, facial reconstruction. The facial reconstruction is a method used when the crime involves unidentified remains. The process recreates the face of an individual from the skeletal remains through the combination of artistry, anthropology, osteology and anatomy. There are three main types of this facial reconstruction. First one is 2D that is two dimensional which involves photographs and drawing. Number two, 3D, three dimensional which involves sculptures or high resolution 3D images. And number three, superimposition. Number two, LAICPMS which is laser ablation inductively coupled plasma mass spectrometry. What is laser ablation? Laser ablation is the precise removal of solid sample layer with the help of laser. This LAICPMS is a powerful analytical technology that enables highly sensitive elemental and isotopic analysis directly to be performed on solid samples. What does it mean? Means this LAICPMS does not need of sample preparation. For example, glass, paint, ink, papers and fibers. And finally, number one, 3D scanner. 3D scanner is generally most expensive but the brilliant piece of an equipment available to the crime scene personals. You can just take the scanner, place it into the room and turn it on. It will rotate 360 degrees while capturing the photographs of room and objects in it. It will also measure the distance from the scanner to the walls and from scanner to the objects in it. For further readings, I am providing links for the particular topics. Please press the like button and share this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new to my channel. Thank you.